So, whew, it's a long journey. This is, uh, I guess this is officially the seventh, <laughs> no, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, uh, ancillary um, observation around the uh, Marvel Studios film Black Panther. Um, uh, again, these are just the things around the film. Uh, that we talk about things about the industry, well, not industry, but just around creativity. Um, and, and as you see, I'm, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a hat, a cap that comes from, it was made for me in uh, in India, southern India, it's Tamil Hindu state of India. Um, this this top here comes from Guatemala, as in Guatemala. Um, uh, this here is American Indian uh, thing that I got from actually a guy that was. Uh, he has American Indian heritage, but I met him here in, uh, up in Hogsback at, at, at a festival. I really like that I got it from him. Um, now, I bring up all this stuff because you are, what happens is as you, as you journey this life, I, I call myself a universalist because I, from solidly from 1989 to, um, to now, I suppose, I've traveled extensively around the planet uh, for, for little or no money. I won't get into that part. Um, but you are informed by, by your adventures, by what you, what, what, what you see, um, what you absorb. Uh, now, if you're someplace for, for three days, like I was in Paris for the, I don't know, that doesn't mean that I absorbed a whole lot, even though it's a great, uh, you know, uh, falafel district uh, around, that the Moroccans run out of and that stuff. I'm more uniform by certain things. I've been to India, all over India, many, 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 many times, right? I've, I've been, uh, so about uh, Guatemala, this place called Livingston, Guatemala, uh, um, that I, I really like this. It's across from my favorite place on the planet, which is in Belize, I think called Barranco, Belize. Be quite informed by them. By them. Uh, 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 if you see the, the Honduran flag back there, it's from Honduras. That's really an ode to the, to, and I've got to get a Griffin flag, but I have to go to, I guess, Belize to get a, a Griffin flag, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, but those are the people that, that, that are in um, um, Livingston, Guatemala, Puerto Barrios, Guatemala, it's in northern Guatemala, uh, in Belize, they're in Honduras, where they started in Honduras, spread out and on down the coast all the way to South America. Now, I bring up all this stuff uh, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm what we call a, a descendant of child slavery uh, in the United States of North America, and it means I'm a black American. Uh, and because of the trauma we went through, especially with, with you know, being captive and then put, put enslaved, and then the whole goes beyond that, you know, the whole Jim Crow, uh, you know, the, the whole lynching, the red line, the whole, the whole thing that black Americans go through. We had a long struggle. We're still struggling. Right. So our struggle, even our struggle, is different than any other struggle on the planet. Uh, the, the fact that we, uh, the little, the, it's a very small population if we want to look at it in terms of, of what's mounted against us, you know. So it's, it's very important that we, when we start talking about liberation, that we start talking about things, we're talking to people who have been through that. You, if, you, if you come from another spot, then you're not going to do the liberation right. Let me get to, this, get to, to, to Black Panther and this in just a second. But as I say, so, so let me go back to sort of ancillary things. Uh, it seems it seems to be like like for instance, uh, Ruth Carter, um, uh, who did the costumes for for Black Panther, and Ryan Coogler, I think also they, they spent maybe a month uh, in various parts of Africa. You see, now you, see, you're, you're, you can get you can get the aesthetic then, but you it's things you you you're not going you're not going to get. You see, so. Uh, filmmaking is kind of a strange thing, you know. Uh, a lot of times, people do their passion because they grew up in that area. They know the thing. They know they know the various parts. If somebody came to film here in the Eastern Cape, which they very rarely do, I mean, I got some spots. Location, hey, I can be a location scout. Ah, uh, man, I got some locations for you to film. You would believe that you can make some epics in this area here. Remember, the Eastern Cape has the most forts in all of the world, I guess, in this little in this area because they really fought the British in here. We don't get it set right now. Okay, so so, so that's what I say about it's just about filmmaking. You know, you got to do a lot of research, and, and these days they do authentic research. They fly you someplace, you, you try to soak in the culture, depends on who you hook up with, you know. And, and depending on, you know, it depends on a bunch of things. So it's good to have people in and, and know people in, in, in the areas, okay? So let me change my cap right now because I just want to uh, talk about oh, just one character in this reality. We're going to try to tie this all together in, in, in the film uh, Black Panther. Um, uh, so let, I'm going to change my hat. Let me change hats. Hey, here we go. Put my. This is my uh, revolutionary hat, you know, 
and it's revolutionary too because it's black, you know, it's got the little red stars, and it's green on the other side, it's a reversible hat, you know, that's sort of my Ogun hat, it's the colors of Ogun, but in the North American, North, and, uh, North American sense, you know, uh, you know, to Cuba through, through North America, Ogun's color is her, uh, uh, black, uh, green with a dash of red, that's why I really like this hat when I'm talking revolution. You know, so as a child of Ogun, I'm just trying to say, Ogun is the warrior. Uh, so speaking of warriors, there's a, a note, so here's a spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. I'm not going to really talk about the film extensively until I think tomorrow or something like that. But uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, and Jaka and, 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 and the character, uh, Eric Killmonger, uh, most uh, people who are descendant of child slavery, they really identify, at least, uh, identify with that character, Eric Kilmar, Eric Kilmar, who was basically his his father. You know, came from Wakanda, but he never saw Wakanda. We don't know who his mother is. I, we assume he's a she's a Black American, but we don't we don't know that. At least on the film, we don't know. And uh, and he grew up, you know, without his father because his father was killed, as you see in the beginning of the film. Uh, I'll tell you a spoiler already. Um, uh, where it shows how his father was killed, and Eric was basically went to uh, to off to force to force the gate. And uh, so he grew up with one thing on his mind. You know what I mean? Well, he grew up with a system where he was educated, just like just like T'Challa. He went to the, the best schools in the United States and, and, and England. Uh, well, T'Challa, I guess, also went to Oxford, but uh, the best schools, uh, uh, several degrees, really smart. Uh, Eric Kumaris is equal in, in that sense. Uh, but also, Eric Kumaris is something else. Eric Kumaris is a, is, is a trained, let's call it trained warrior. Okay, with, with, with uh, the child, he has to be uh, 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 he, he is a warrior, but not really, he's more of a diplomat than a warrior, if you want to put it that way. Uh, but uh, Killmonger is a, a deaf, straight up, you know, uh, warrior. <laughs> that's it, that's what he do, you know. That's why when they have the fight, it doesn't surprise me that Eric Killmonger uh, finally wins uh, the, the, the battle. But if you really look at that battle, I'm gonna, this is very interesting. If you look at that battle, uh, what happens is there's two times in the battle where uh, T'Challa actually could have killed Eric Killmonger. One when he cuts his face, there's another one when he spear right in his face. But he, he holds back because he's thinking his whole his cousin, his whole, you know, what it, he's doing a diplomatic thing. <laughs> you know, he's not he's not clear about, you know, he wants to kill uh, to kill his brother, you know, or his cousin, right? And so when his cousin has a chance to kill him, he doesn't hesitate because he's like stone cold, you know, warrior. I got an agenda, right? And my, my agenda has nothing to do with, with saving Wakanda. My agenda is about saving, you know, the, uh, or, or doing battle with the entire, you know, with the, giving the downtrodden, the, 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 uh, the equipment, you know, the, 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 the vibranium, the, the equipment to, to, to get rid of the oppressors, the, the oppressors right? But here, but here, when when Forrest Whitaker's character Zuri stops that, I think what's happening in my the way I read it off the screen is that basically, um, uh, even though uh, Kilmark was about to kill him, uh, Zuri basically is going like because he's an advisor, we knew his father, knew both the fathers, whatever. Blah, 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 he's going like, you should have killed him before. I'm not going to let this happen. Take me, right? And so he kills Zuri, and he throws, you know. Chichalo all the day, right? So uh, technically, you know, you have two kings now. <laughs> because one because he won the battle, but he didn't but he didn't he, he the, the, the 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 king that he beat did not yield, you see? Okay. So 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 then you see so then you see Killmonger because he has his 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 remember he's trained he's trained by, you know, by the U.S., by mercenary, he's a mercenary, you know, he's trained, that's why, he, all those kills, that's a lot of kills, that means that you, you know, hey, T'Challa shouldn't even came close to be, to, to, to actually beating Eric Killmonger, uh, uh, but be, be because of his mindset, right, for whatever reason, I don't, I don't go into that, uh, you know, the father thing, the, the mother, you know, I, I'm, I'm not really, that's a psychological thing, okay, you want to go with that, and that's why a lot of black Americans, you know, um, um, how you say, identify with Eric Killmonger more than the African, the pure African. Remember, Eric Killmonger is just one generation African because his father, you know, did grow up um, uh, in the tradition of, let's say, a descendant of child slavery. Maybe his mother's, the maternal line did, but his father didn't. So in that sense, he's almost like, he's almost like Barack Obama in terms of lineage. I'm talking about not mentality, right? 
more T'Challa, more like Barack Obama and T'Challa. So diplomat, you know, pondering, thinking, blah 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 blah. Okay, so the, the, and, and uh, so it's kind of interesting uh, oh, oh, how that dynamic works out. Now uh, I want to skip. To, there's one other thing. There's one other thing. There is there are no really African Americans, well, at least a uh, descendant of child slavery in that thing. I guess. You know, the sister that Killmonger was with, maybe she's African American. Now, when she was first cast, I thought that she was going. There's a, 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 a in a comic book. There's a thing. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, Tilda Johnson is, is is Nightshade, which is a a, a baddie. You know, she's a she, she's a she's a villain. Or I like to say protagonist, antagonist. She's the an antagonist in the, in, the, in the comics, right? And she's drawn like all the other women. You know, really, you know, buxom and whatever, beautiful, whatever have you. But when I looked at the credits. Rolling, they don't call her um, uh, uh, Tilda uh, Johnson. They call her Linda. So I'm thinking that that's really not that's really not going to be Nightshade because I don't think they would kill off a they would even before you introduced her. I don't think you would, they would kill off a, a, a villain. You know what I mean? Especially, well, I don't think they would. They would. So maybe that's not Nightshade. That's that that she was that that the sister was portraying. She's a she's a she's a she's from New York too. Uh, uh, I have a B or something. Oh, I have to look it up. Anyway, she had a small part, but she was really good. But oh, let me say one thing. Here's an accurate thing. Okay, the way the, the uh, when Chichala kisses, um, who does he kiss? Uh, 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 Nakia. You know, they do this little what I call African kiss. It's like it's like it's whatever it is. Black people do the soul kiss. So when 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 when. Uh, when Killmonger kisses Linda, man, he does that running the tongue. I mean, you, it's, it's, it's one of those, uh, like, like in Hustle and Flow, like Terrence Howard did to uh, Tasha P. P. Henson, that kind of kiss. That's a black American, so we know he's got some, some, I guess maybe his mother did have some African American <laughs> channel slavery in her. Anyway, I, I joke, but it's true. That's what I saw. Uh, uh, but uh, one, uh, so, so just think about this whole thing, this whole setup. Is, you know, people say, "Oh, you know, uh, Eric Killmonger is really the, the king, and he really beat him." And, well, it's so nebulous as far as I read. If I'm reading the film, I'm reading the film through my eyes. That's what I see. Okay, but there is one other ancillary thing I want to say, and that this this thing is this movement, this uh, Black Panther, is so big that when they have to, the, the, the first time it was announced, it's going to be a Comic Con coming to South Africa. You know, you know that's where. You know, the, the, it's called the cosplay when people put up costumes for their superheroes or whatever have you. But let's think about all of the costumes that are portrayed in the film, at least, the women are not really exposed or objectified or whatever have you. You, you, you see, I mean, there's, there's, you know, if you're going to go to Southern Africa, you at least have to read, dance, you know, whatever. But all I'm trying to say is that. So the, the the costuming or people they don't have they don't have to be like the those, those women that run around with no no clothes on these in these these cosplay uh, these conventions like that so that's a, a positive thing yeah, that's a positive thing only because this, these things you know, social media they, they people gawk at women da, 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 the sexual energies and uh, with young people especially it's just so it's so tremendous that's the highest form of energy and blah 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 blah, blah. so enjoy. Um, Enjoy Black Panther. Uh, my next posting will probably be uh, will probably be longer, and it'll probably be a, a, a review of the film, the film itself. Okay, just to let you know, a little message from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I always suspect about Wakanda.